What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're checking out a really cool product that could be a great gift for the holiday season for anyone who loves tech and might have pretty much every product out there but really wants to explore the next generation of AR glasses and the technology that comes with it. This right here is the Rokid Max as well as the Rokid Station. And with the Joypack, you're able to enjoy Android TV in the form of AR in a really fun setup that you can either connect your phone to and mirror what is on the screen when it comes to media consumption or use a portable Android TV box that you're able to bring with you anywhere and get a very immersive experience. If you guys would like to win one for yourself, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like in this video, and leave a comment down below of your favorite feature. And I also wanna give a huge thanks to Rokid for sponsoring this video. So with all the talk of AR glasses and AR technology recently, it seems like every major company has started to embrace that tech in some way, shape, or form. Recently, we attended Apple WWDC where they announced Apple Vision Pro, and that is a setup that is going to cost about $3,000, and it's gonna be in very limited quantities. Even though that is gonna be a very impressive experience, for consumers, it is just not exactly attainable or needed. And so products like the Rokid Max allows you to enjoy an amazing experience that is very immersive and gives you a lot of the great benefits of AR tech at a much more affordable and household setting. This set of glasses you can see is very portable. It looks great, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the glasses themselves, as well as the Rokid Station, which allows you to enjoy Android TV and let you watch TV on the go and use all the great apps as part of the Android TV ecosystem and how it also comes together as a package. But let's first talk about the AR glasses. The Rokid Max has a spec of 1920 by 1080 on each side. It is a micro OLED display and has a contrast ratio of 100,000 to one. And being able to see through the lens while your image is being displayed in real time is really cool. And that is like the whole immersive experience of what AR is able to bring. It also comes with a cover that you're able to place to give you a more dark immersive setting. So say you're in like a bright room or something, I wanna just be able to focus on the content. Having that cover is a very handy accessory. It is a 50 degree field of view that gives you the equivalent of a 215 inch borderless screen. The refresh rate is 120 Hertz, so it's very fluid and you shouldn't have to worry about getting motion sickness or anything. And when it comes to color space, it is a 106% sRGB color gamut with 90% light leak reduction and it weighs in at just 75 grams. I have tried quite a few glasses in the past, and this one is one that I find is on the lighter side. It's very portable, easy to bring around with you everywhere, and I just like how it is able to sit, and after a few hours of usage, I still find that it is still comfortable, and I don't feel like I have to take it off. The adjustments with the actual lens itself is great. The nose piece allows it to support the weight of the screen because the balance of the weight is definitely towards the front, and yeah, I mean, in terms of general ergonomics, I think they've done a pretty good job here. And if you've tried to a pair of glasses speakers before, this has the same type of speaker tech where it plays a sound out of the back here as it rests on your ear. The buttons to control are also on the bottom. And in terms of the connectivity to your devices, you can use the USB type C on the back of the left side. Whether this is connecting to your phone or the Rokid station, Let's just use the accessories to your advantage to enjoy the experience that you would like and that's the great thing about AR. It has a lot of practical and fun use cases already, but those practicalities are just going to continue to expand over the years as the technology becomes more mainstream. So when it comes to hardware, I think Rokit has done a really good job because ergonomics are really the main focus of these products right now. Something that is too bulky, too hard to set up, and too hard to bring around with you is just going to make it a more difficult experience to jump right into. And so when it comes to the hardware, I think they've done an excellent job here and it actually looks pretty natural. One of the fun ways to utilize the Rokid Max setup though is with the Rokid Station. It is the world's first Google certified portable TV device for AR glasses. And it's essentially like a TV box that you can bring with you on the go. Android TV has been my platform of choice because the TVs I've been using in the past couple years are all from Sony and being able to just plug and play and bring this around with you anywhere is really convenient and whether you're sitting at home or on the go, being able to watch TV and utilize the Android TV apps and ecosystem 
It's just a new way to enjoy AR. What's cool about this is that you can not only control your AR glasses using this intuitive remote and navigate through the interface like you would, but there's actually also a dedicated TV remote that allows you to utilize features such as Google Assistant, navigate through the menus, look at your app grid and download apps as you would. And essentially it is the same as setting up a TV and having a 215 inch TV in your AR glasses. In addition to being a portable TV box, it also serves as a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that gives you five hours of straight usage. And that is pretty good because usually when you have to plug it into your phone, it takes the battery power from your phone, but you also have the option to plug it into the wall. And you also have that option here. Being a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and having all that tech built in, as well as the Android TV, it still comes in at a very nice and light form factor and you can easily store it in your pocket and I find that this is like a really fun way to be able to enjoy the AR experience in the most immersive way possible. And if you want to like close off your surroundings, then you can go ahead and put the cover as well, just to darken the scene. Some of the other examples of use is also connecting your smartphone to it. And that is one of the easiest ways to be able to enjoy the AR experience. So in this case, I have my iPhone plugged in and everything is just mirrored. All I had to do was plug it in. I didn't have to go into any like program or control anything. I just go ahead and plug my phone in and now I'm able to enjoy everything on here. And if I just go ahead and play a video, I can also just rotate and start enjoying that content right away. So yeah, this is overall like a really fun way to enjoy that multimedia experience. But if you don't want to utilize your smartphone because you have to do work on it or just keep it hands free, then you can utilize the TV box and still be able to access apps such as YouTube, Netflix, and more externally. I just love how easy it is to use. So whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone, plug it in with the USB-C cable, it is powered by the phone and you're good to go. On the Android side of things, you're also able to access the app and its own interface. So that is all really cool. But I personally just like the plug and play experience and how easy it is and the fact that it's able to play our AR format videos, which gives you kind of like a preview of what the Apple Vision Pro is able to offer at a fraction of the price. So all in all, in this video, we checked out the Rokid Max AR glasses as well as the Rokid Station. And this is a very fun combination that you can get in the Rokid AR Joy Pack, which includes both of these products and allows you to utilize both the glasses and use the cable to connect it to your phone. Or you can also utilize the Google Android TV 12 box that you can bring with you anywhere you go. It is really that full package that comes together at a discount price that is still a fraction of the Apple Vision Pro. And it really gives you a glimpse of a great AR experience now that you can continue to see in the future that utilizes your surroundings and augmented reality while being able to consume media and do both basic tasks as well as more immersive tasks to be able to experiment or to give yourself a new type of way to consume content. As always, I'm gonna drop a link down below and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.